Let's talk for a bit about a franchise agreement. This is a legally binding document that establishes the rights and obligations of both the franchisor and the franchisee. It outlines the terms and conditions under which the franchisee will operate the franchise and the terms and conditions under which the franchisor will license and support the franchisee. There are usually several key components to a franchise agreement. The first is, of course, the grant of franchise. You have to grant the franchise in order for the franchisee to be able to use the franchise. The second is the section that outlines the franchisee's obligations. This outlines the responsibilities and obligations of the franchisees, how the franchisee complies with the franchise requirements, and any reporting requirements, which absolutely should exist. The franchisor support section tells the parties what the franchisor will do to support the franchisee. Marketing, training, operational guidelines, general help and assistance. The fees and royalties section talks about just that, fees and royalties that are due from the franchisee to the franchisor. Intellectual property, a franchise is all about intellectual property. Franchise is a trademark with a system, basically, and therefore part of the franchise agreement is how that intellectual property is being used. How is the franchisee authorized to use the intellectual property, and what intellectual property rights are granted by the franchisor. The term and termination talks about the term of the contract and how this contract can be terminated uh, either through time or for cause, or uh, if one party just can't fulfill the terms of the contract, what happens. The non-disclosure and, non and non-competition section talks about the non-disclosure uh, requirements for the franchise and the non-competition uh, requirements. The dispute resolution section talks about how any disputes between the franchisor and the franchisee get resolved. Uh, whether the franchise is assignable or not is talked about in the uh, transfer and assignment section. And any amendments and modifications that come with time uh, through, uh, to the franchise agreement uh, get talked about in the, mo in the section about am amendments and modifications. Uh, obviously, the franchise must be interpreted under a particular governing law. Usually, that's the governing law of a particular state. Usually, that state is the state in which the franchisor has its principal place of business. And it is crucial that both the franchisor and the franchisee review and carefully negotiate the terms of this agreement because this is going to be the, the contract that rules your lives for the term of the franchise.